Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here. This next video that I'm going to be making today is about a topic that really, really pisses me off. You know, uh, religion pisses me off in many ways, but this is one of the things that religion does that really pisses me off. Well, anyway, they have this idea where if you confess your sins and if you give your heart to Jesus, so on and so forth, that you'll get to go to heaven and be with your loved ones and, you know, be with Jesus, yada, yada, yada. Well, anyway, I don't know if you guys know this particular individual that I'm going to be talking about in this video, but just in case you don't, I'm going to give you his name and give you a little bit of backstory about this individual. This guy goes by the name of Ariel Castro. And before he killed himself, he was a really, really terrible person. He had kidnapped three young girls at a very, very young age and kept them captive for 11 years, I believe. In fact, he raped them repeatedly. And I think one of the young girls ended up having one of his babies. Well, it turns out that one of these girls' mother died in 2006, I believe, and she never really got any closure as far as, you know, her daughter was concerned. Um, she didn't know if her daughter was alive, dead, whatever the case might be, and she never really got any closure. She never really got any answers because during this time, these young girls were still being, you know, captive. They were still being held prisoner by this individual. Well, the this lady ended up dying, you know, without ever seeing her daughter or anything like that. Well, anyway, uh, like I said, this Castro individual was, you know, uh, holding these three young girls captive, you know, for all of these years, doing terrible, unspeakable things to these young ladies. While well, he was caught, and he ended up going to court for his actions. And he was held accountable for his actions, and he ended up getting a very, very stiff sentence from the judge, and he ended up going to prison. Well, it turns out that he ended up killing himself. And when they went to go investigate the whole situation and investigate the cell that he was in, whatnot, you know, they found a lot of, you know, religious, uh, how do you call it, religious references, so on and so forth. He found Bibles and a lot of other things that he was writing down, basically, you know. And what it turned out to happen was the fact that he, you know, before he died, he gave his heart to Jesus, supposedly, you know. He confessed his sins, whatever the case might be. So according to the Christian religion, this guy ended up going to heaven because he accepted Jesus with his heart. He confessed his sins and whatnot. You know. And this is one of the things that really pisses me off about individuals, you know what I mean? Because you get, you know, serial killers, child rapists, you know, you get any killers of any kind, mass murders, whatever the case might be. They surrender their heart to Jesus and confess all of their sins and they get to go to heaven to be with their loved ones. You get, yet you get, you know, atheist individuals who go out there on a daily basis in the public and help other individuals. You know, there's different atheists that go out there and, you know, uh, uh, help feed the poor. They help, you know, construct positive activities for individuals. They help do so many things to better society, you know, but they still are going to hell because they come to a different conclusion about a God than Christians do. And to me, this is one of the reasons why I am an atheist, you know. There are many reasons why, but this is just one of the reasons why I'm an atheist, because this whole story that religion has is completely fucked up, completely backwards, and completely full of nonsense, plain and simple. And that's the way I feel about this whole particular situation, you know. Because what this whole religious story is basically saying is if you give your heart, you know, to Jesus, and if you accept Jesus for who he is, whatever the case might be, you'll get to go to heaven, basically. But no matter what you do in life, if you do not believe in a God, or any gods for that matter, you go to hell. It doesn't matter if you're a good person. It doesn't matter if you help people all your life. It doesn't matter if you, you know, open programs for young kids to get involved with to, you know, 
help them become better individuals in society. It doesn't matter if you contribute to society in a positive way. It doesn't matter if you do any of these things to help society. You are still going to hell according to this Christian religion. And that's why Christianity in general to me is a joke. All of these contradictory stories that everyone hears time and time and time again really make no sense. You know. And these Christians can't understand why a lot of us hate religion so much. They cannot understand these things. So what do they do? They go out there like this Bruce and this G-Man and all of these individuals go out there and badmouth us, and talk about us, you know. They say whatever they want to say about us, whatever the case might be, but they don't understand. You know, they can't see past the own smoke and mirrors that they throw up for everyone to see. You know, they can't see past their own ignorance. They just want to spew the diarrhea that comes out of their mouths, and this goes for a lot of religious individuals. You know, they don't understand a thing about anything. But this is what I wanted to share with you guys, you know, because this story really bugged me. And I wanted to share it with you guys because, you know, I kind of wanted to rant at the same time, you know. And I hope you guys like the story, you know. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about this uh, story. And I'll leave the link in the description down below for you guys to take a look at as well, you know. But... You know, this Christianity, this Christianity thing is really getting out of hand. You know, it's all nonsense, like I said, you know. And it's one of the reasons why I am still an atheist, you know. And I will always be an atheist, you know. And it's just insane to see the lengths that Christianity is willing to go to, you know. Hopefully one day things will improve, but I seriously doubt it. I really do. You know. And that's why I'm here, you know, sharing my thoughts with you guys, you know. I'm going to be, you know, uh, getting involved locally here because there's a atheist community here where I live. And I'm going to be getting involved pretty soon with them and doing things in the public with them, you know, because I want to start doing better things, you know. I want to do a lot of things that benefit society. I want to help the homeless. I want to do a lot of things, you know. And I'm still going to make videos. It's just that I want to start helping people as well, you know. I want to start going out there and doing a lot of things to help, you know. But uh, like I said, you know, let me know what you guys think of this video, you know. In the comment section down below this topic really lit a fire under my ass you know because i don't know but uh quiet atheist is out you know uh thank you guys for watching and remember if you can be good be good at it and we'll see you next time thank you for watching